father's right. No one, especially anyone associated with Martin Fitzgerald Harvesty's papers, spell the end of the Crane family. Mr. Crane. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. I'll get them, Pilar. Is there something wrong? Mr. No, Crane? of course not. Nothing, sir. Is there something in those papers you don't want me to see? Something which concerns my family? <laughs> Why on earth would I have any papers in my safe that would concern you or your family? I don't know, Mr. Crane. But my son, Luis, believes that you know more about my husband's disappearance than you've admitted. In fact, he thinks there could be evidence right here in this house. Wait, what are you saying? That I've been hiding the truth about Martin's disappearance? I mean, that's preposterous to even suggest that, surely. You don't believe what Luis is saying. I'll wait until I see what evidence my son finds before I decide who or what to believe. Well, in that case, I'm afraid you'll have a very long wait because there's no evidence. Perhaps, but don't forget, David brought down Goliath. <clears throat> As you said that before. And if you hurt my son, Mr. Crane, you could be making a very serious mistake. His wrath is very powerful. What are you implying, Pilar? Are you telling me I should be afraid of your son? Pilar, am, am I to believe that my own housekeeper is threatening me? I would never threaten you, Mr. Crane. I just want to clear the air. I don't want there to be any misunderstandings between us. Misunderstandings? Yes, sir. My job here is very important to me, but my family is more important than anything. My children are everything to me. Well, as well they should be. But what brought this on, Pilar, this uh, sudden need to clear the air? I thought since the man who, who died turned out not to be Martin that everything would get back to normal. I mean, your husband's still out there somewhere. Nothing's changed. You know nothing of where Martin might be. Well, of course not. Don't you think I'd have done something to bring him back if I did? You mean because supposedly he stole money from Crane Industries? Well, yes. Apply. I know you don't want to believe it, but it's, it's true. However, you, I would be willing to try and work something out. You know, perhaps even drop the charges if Martin were to turn up. Because I don't want any strife between our two families. Neither do I, sir. But I'm afraid there will be. I fear Luisa's temper. <laughs> Why do you think the situation uh, between Luis and my family will worsen? Is something happened that I'm not aware of? Well, a situation may arise where certain members of our family are thrown together, a situation that would not be to everyone's liking. And if that should occur, I don't want to see my son get hurt. Are you talking about Luis becoming involved with my sister? I saw them kissing, you know. Rest assured, that will never happen. Sheridan will never become involved with your son. Then you have nothing to fear, Mr. Crane. Father, I've done everything I can to keep Luis and Pilar from finding out what really happened to Mark. Apparently, everything was not enough. If anything happens now, it's not my fault. What do you think is going to happen, Julian? I don't know. I thought by now, Luis and his mother would have backed off, let sleeping dogs lie. Seem as suspicious as ever, actually even more so. I don't know much about Luis, but I know Pilar. And she's a very intelligent woman, quite intuitive. Intuitive? Oh, yes. I pride myself on knowing everything that goes on in my family. But I firmly believe that Pilar knows secrets about us. Secrets which could be vitally important to the family. Father, I, th I think you're giving Pilar way too much credit. <laughs> we'll see. 
At the moment, I'm more concerned about Luis. We have to watch out for him. I must admit, Father, Luis worries me too. He could be very dangerous. I agree. I've been giving a lot of thought to what happened when you saw Luis and Sheridan kissing. I told her repeatedly to stay away from Luis. I, I can't believe she's attracted to that sort. It occurred to me that she may not be attracted. They may not have been kissing for pleasure. Why else would they kiss? Perhaps when you walked in on them, they only pretended to be romantically involved. It could have been a cover. A cover for what? Maybe Luis was trying to get information about his father, and he enlisted Sheridan's help. Sheridan's help? No, she wouldn't dare. Wouldn't she? How could she go against the family like that? Why? She feels she owes Luis her life. But if she believed we had anything to do with Martin's disappearance, she would have already confronted us about it with all her righteous indignation. Yes, and she hasn't. So it's possible she's helping Luis so she can clear the family name. Yes, that makes sense. Mm. It's the kiss that worries me. But if they were only kissing to cover up the fact that they were snooping, why worry? <laughs> What if she liked it and fell in love with Louise? Fell in love with Louise? Yes. It could prove to be completely disastrous. <sighs> I can't believe that Sheridan would fall for someone like Louise. Although she's never used good sense about men in the past. Her choices have left a lot to be desired, true. But I've been giving this one a lot of thought, and here's what we're going to do. Are you listening, Julian? I'm listening, Father. I've come up with a plan. We're going to destroy that little romance before it even begins. And we're going to do it tonight. <laughs> 